Hey, it's Will Shannon here, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about treating neurological conditions. Uh, you see, treating neurological conditions can be one of the more challenging things that we ever treat because it's very challenging to actually uh, recover from because nerves can take a long time to break down and they can take a long time to repair. In fact, the box of Muhammad Ali is probably a very common example of that, you know, where you know, for years and years and years, he had no symptoms. And about 1975, he started to develop symptoms. He kept boxing for three years until 1978. And then, uh, you know, you've seen him today. He's voted athlete of the century. But if you saw him at the 2000 Olympics trying to light the flame, you would have seen him, the, the visible shaking. Now, there's a couple of premises in natural health. One, we think that the red blood cells make up the rest of the body. So we make people healthy, we clear up the bloodstream, and we believe that as the cells replace, regenerate, and renew the body will renew itself and repair. The other thing is in natural health, we believe that nothing is incurable. We always believe that the body can repair anything. It doesn't matter what it is. The body has an inherent mechanism to want to repair. And this is why we take a different approach to drugs and surgery. We don't necessarily, even though we think some of these things are absolutely necessary, we don't think that drugs necessarily promote new tissue. And we don't even think that surgery necessarily will promote new tissue either, even though obviously it can be very useful. So the question is, what do we put inside the body and externally on the body in order to help the nerves renew? So, and the other thing, and I'll discuss this in a separate audio, but which neurological complaints affect the body the most? And by that I mean, uh, you know, what are the most common labels we put on people uh, who have neurological things? So I'll give you a few. Parkinson's, you know, you probably associate that the shakes, multiple sclerosis, uh, neurological complaints, some aspects of dizziness. Uh, so I'm going to define what they are and natural health ideas and that in a separate separate audio. But I really, when I deal with people, we go through about a dozen that treatment p points that we do. The first thing you need to know is that nerves are the most important thing in your whole body. Nerves go down your spinal cord and they connect to all your organs. And all your organs feed off your spinal cord. It's very important that your spine is aligned. You don't want sublaxed vertebrae, which is a uh, vertebrae sitting one way or the other, which is actually a very... Uh, uh, minor term for 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 a minor dislocation. Uh, now, the thing you need to know is that if you look at your brain from the back and your brainstem, your spinal cord comes out of your brainstem, which really means your spine is an extension of your brain. So it's very important that we look after this part of you. Uh, in fact, you know, if anything, you could say your your spine is your brain or part of your brain. And the reason when you break your spine, you get paralysed, is not because of the bone, but because the nerves run through the bone. So the most important thing you can do by far for any sort of neurological complaint, step one, you want to be putting some sort of uh, cream or herbs, or ideally the cream would have herbs in it, down the spine every day from top to bottom. Uh, it would ideally have a cream with something like menthol in it, which would get very hot and then very cold, which would draw all the circulation in. Red blood cells re would replace and renew. And it would have neurological herbs, herbs like hops, wood betony, blue vervain, uh, black cohosh, blue cohosh, uh, I could rattle off a, do a dozen of these things, valerian. Now, the other thing that you want to do, secondly, is begin to promote the primitive reflexes in people. And you want to simulate them being like a toddler, which means for at least 10 minutes every day, you want them to be crawling on the ground, uh, providing it's safe, you know, they're not good bone breakages with a medical doctor if they need to. And you want to do them commando crawling, you know, on the ground, looking left, right, left, right, trying to coordinate. And then... Uh, rolling on the ground back and forth rolling 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 and then getting up and standing up and spinning back and forth uh, and it, what will this will do will operate the primitive reflexes thirdly i'm a big believer in pilates because i'm a big believer in any exercise that promotes symmetry the body needs symmetry left and right side of the body needs to be even you need to be doing exercises with people that allow the spinal cord because the spine is held in place with muscles which means if people have a bad back that keeps coming out we need to really address the muscular condition now, not only with the spine, there's other things that, that uh, play a part in, in the vestibular system, uh, proprioception and so on. Apart from the spine, that's the jaw. And again, I'm a big believer of people need dental plates or things to rectify this. Uh, your big toes uh, and your middle ear, and I'll talk about how your middle ear uh, works in a different section. Now, we do some of these things on top of the base of an ideal day. Uh, which, which again is your water and your breathing and your things like that. But we'll begin to go to that into another audio. And if you want me to go more in depth and do a treatment pro program, uh, definitely reach out and contact me with the de details in this audio or on the biomedic website, and I'd be absolutely happy to render you further assistance.